Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Good morning guys and Namaste everyone. Welcome to Asmika's vlog. Today I'm sharing one of my amazing trips with you for the very first time in my life. I got an opportunity for shooting. So this is my first ever experience shooting a real gun. Yeah, say the real gun, like the real gun, say rabbit or shoot gun, like a bird or shoot gun, like this is the reason. So we came to Oz, yeah, say our farm, sir. It is a massive farm. Grapes go farm specially. Heavy bomb. Heavy bomb. Bolla bolla old gari. One takes a 22 caliber bullet. I'll tell you, I'm not going to kill you. Just 30 minutes later, on the way we stopped at Tarali power station, which is a hydroelectric power station in a small town, Tarali, and is 942 feet long, which was built in 1934, which has six turbines with a capacity of 90 megawatts electricity and one of the largest water managers turning rainfall into clean renewable energy for Tasmanian. This is one of the pleasant spot to stop and stretch your legs. We are at the center of Tasmania where you can see a monument which was erected in 1983. Of course, you cannot see a good signage, therefore it is really easy to miss out. Just few minutes away from the highway, we took a gravel road this time. So on the way, I've just stopped at a place called Wooden Hydropower. Your power station says it's completely wooden. So we have almost reached Queenstown, almost 10 minutes away. Our first man, our first stop is Iron Rule Gordonsa. This mountain is called Iron Please let me know in the comment below. We have just entered Gormanston and we are driving top of the hill via Lyle Highway. I have driven to one of the most unique attractions. I recommend you to visit this place during summer where the water turns into aqua blue due to high copper content in water. I'm so amazed to be here at this place and this is super attractive. You say Poyla ko mining on a town wo yaha say 1883 ma gold beti ko thiyo and copper extraction began in no time. The miners cleared as much as copper as possible, which caused a significant impact to the environment. As you can see, a giant hole and all the trees were chopped down. The sulfur fumes from the copper smelters caused the remaining plants to die. So when you come down to Iron Blow Lookout, one side has Iron Blow Lookout and across the road you'll come across a horse tail fall, which is only 30 minutes return track. I call it a walker's paradise. I didn't even bother about the falls, the walk itself took my breath away. And here I am at Horsetail Falls. Now I understand why it's called Horsetail. It's called get a ship and it's called Gorda ship. So that's why. As we were returning, we saw a very big sign of Queenstown. So out of curiosity, we just googled and we drove up to the same sign. After Iron Blow Lookout, we went to Horsetail um, track and then the track, Sokke a we have stopped, like it's only a minute drive. I'm standing right at Queenstown Steel Road sign. There's a Thakka Road, there's no public toilet, there's no public toilet, there's nothing really. Like when you travel and when you stop at every spot, time just flies. There is a saying, don't worry about the destination, just enjoy the journey and you will never regret. Mm, so this is not the same this time. My perspective towards Queenstown was not the same when I came across a beautiful old town, which has a population of less than 2000 people. There's plenty of things that I came across from a historical museum, waterfall to a unique blend of city center. Queenstown is also a home of West Coast Wilderness Railway, which has a unique heritage and wilderness experiences that runs in a historic 35-kilometer track between Queenstown and Strahan. It is 
sunset and I don't have to drive anymore. So cheers guys. Life is a winding road. We went straight to the hotel in Strahan. Time for some barbecue, some indoor games until I got up next morning. See you tomorrow morning. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down.